stick out your right hand over your broom and say, Up! Sirius, Sirius, what could I have done? The Dark Lord, you have no idea. He has weapons you can't imagine. I was scared, Sirius. I was never brave like you and Remus and James. I never meant it to happen. Well, well, well. Violet's just told me everything. Who's just been chosen as school champion, then? It's too late. I've made excuses for you for years. None of my friends can understand why I even talk to you. You and your precious little Death Eater friends. You see, you don't even deny it. You don't even deny that's what you're all aiming to be. You can't wait to join you-know-who, can you? We was hiding in the corridor outside. We can do disillusion charms now. And then you turned up right in front of us and said you was looking for a diadem. What's a diadem? Now, we can't have that. Somebody slap the referee. Ah, the hand of glory. Insert a candle and it gives light only to the holder. Best friend of thieves and plunderers. Your son has fine tastes, sir. Ah, he left her and serve her right, Marion Filth. Robbed us, mine, before she ran off. Where's the locket, eh? Where's Slytherin's locket? You will be safer by far at your orphanage. As a matter of fact, the Ministry of Magic is even now talking about closing the school. We are no nearer locating the, uh, source of all this unpleasantness. Welcome to the Night Bus. Emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. Just stick out your wand hand, step on board, and we can take you anywhere you want to go. She's my auntie. She told me about your hearing. So, is it really true you make a stag Patronus? Harry Potter, I am simply delighted. I was saying to Professor Slughorn only the other day, where is the biography of Harry Potter for which we have all been waiting? I remember it so well. I'd hidden because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. The door was locked and I was crying and then I heard somebody come in. You cheating scum! You filthy cheating b... Then you can hardly complain that you get no warning of visitors. I am here following a serious breach of wizarding law which occurred here in the early hours of this morning. Sid's talked about you, of course. Told us all about playing against you last year. I said to him, I said, Sid, that'll be something to tell your grandchildren, that will. You beat Harry Potter! All Dumbledore told us last year was that Cedric Diggory got killed by you-know-who and that you brought Diggory's body back to Hogwarts. He didn't give us details. He didn't tell us exactly how Diggory got murdered. I think we'd all like to know. Back to the ship, then. Victor, how are you feeling? Did you eat enough? Should I send for some mulled wine from the kitchens? Well, take these, anyway. Chocolate cauldrons. They've got fire whiskey in them. My grand sent them to me, but I don't like them. I know that you have learned the names of the planets and their moons in astronomy, and that you have mapped the star's progress through the heavens. Centaurs have unraveled the mysteries of these movements over centuries. Our findings teach us that the future may be glimpsed in the sky above us. Colin, I fell in! It was brilliant, and something in the water grabbed me and pushed me back in the boat. I... I think I do see something. Something that concerns you. Why, I sense something... something dark. Some grave peril. I wouldn't bank on an invitation. He asked me about Knott's father when I first arrived. They used to be old friends, apparently, but when he heard he'd been caught at the Ministry, he didn't look happy. And not didn't get an invitation, did he? I don't think Slughorn's interested in Death Eaters. 
Helga Hufflepuffs, as you very well know, you clever boy. Didn't I tell you I was distantly descended? This has been handed down in the family for years and years. All right, everyone, listen up. I know it's not ideal weather, but there's a good chance we'll be playing Slytherin in conditions like this, so it's a good idea to work out how we're going to cope with them. Harry, didn't you do something to your glasses to stop the rain fogging them up when we played Hufflepuff in that storm? Dragons! Last year, Dementors. This year, Dragons. What are they going to bring to this school next? You're very lucky this is quite shallow. It'll need cleaning before I heal it up, though. Friends? Don't make me laugh. She didn't talk to him for weeks after he started going out with me. But I suppose she wants to make up with him now he's all interesting. And your hair's much too long, Ronald. For a moment I thought you were Ginevra. Merlin's beard. What is Xenophilius Lovegood wearing? He looks like an omelette. He asked me whether I was ready to risk everything for him. I was ready. It was my dream, my greatest ambition, to serve him, to prove myself to him. He told me he needed to place a faithful servant at Hogwarts. Certainly I knew him longest, if you don't count Aberforth. And somehow people never do seem to count Aberforth. 